हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल झील भट्ट एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल झील्स फार्मेसी टूटोरियल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट पेरिन जेबलॉन्ग्स की डायग्राम वेन द एनर्जी इज सप्लाई टू द इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लाइट दे एब्जॉर्ब द एनर्जी एंड रिचेज टू द एक्साइटेड स्टेट इन द एक्साइटेड स्टेट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर वेरी अनस्टेबल एंड हैंस दे ट्राई टू गेट बैक टू द ग्राउंड स्टेट the process by which they get back to the ground state is known as relaxation and the process by which they absorb the energy and reaches to the excited state is known as absorption now as per perrin jablonsk ki diagram illustration there are multiple pathways by which the absorbed molecular energy can be released relaxation can occur in many ways the process of relaxation mainly occurs in two ways first is radiative way and non radiative way in the radiative way it occurs by two mechanism first is fluorescence and second is phosphorescence before we study about the mechanism of fluorescence and phosphorescence let us see what is singlet state a state in which all the unpaired electrons have opposite spin Here both the unpaired electron in the ground state have opposite spin thus it is known as singlet ground state now here the unpaired electron in the ground state have the opposite spin as that of the unpaired electron in the excited state thus it is known as singlet excited state now what is triplet state a state in which unpaired electrons have same spin that is the unpaired electron in the ground state is having the same spin as that of the unpaired electron in the excited state thus this state is known as triplet state let us have a look on the jablonski diagram when uv light is absorbed by an electron they get excited and from the singlet ground state they reaches to the singlet excited state over here the electrons are very unstable and hence they try to get back to the singlet ground state so this process of relaxation occurs in many ways so the first way is the non radiative transmission in which the electron shifts to the lower electronic level without radiating any radiations the second way is the internal crossing in which there is transition from the higher electronic level to the lower electronic level the third way of relaxation is radiative way in which there is transition from the singlet excited state to the singlet ground state and it is known as fluorescence another way is the intersystem crossing where there is transition between the two isoenergetic vibrational levels having different spin multiplicities the state during this transition is the triplet state and when there is transition from triplet state to the singlet ground state it creates phosphorescence it is also a radiative relaxation so this was all about jablonski diagram now let us have a look on the key terms which are included in jablonski diagram so the first is fluorescence it is the phenomenon of emission of radiation when there is a transition from singlet excited state to the singlet ground state that is when the transition occurs from the singlet excited state to the singlet ground state there is emission of radiation the another term is phosphorescence it is the phenomenon of emission of radiation when there is transition from triplet excited state to the singlet ground state that is when there is transition from triplet excited state to the singlet ground state there is again an emission of radiation which is known as phosphorescence now the another term is the internal conversion transitions from the higher electronic state to the lower electronic state is called internal conversion in this transition no radiations are emitted now the last term is intersystem crossing it is a non radiative transition between the two isoenergetic vibration levels belonging to the electronic states of different multiplicities